Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a scroll bar in Java. So we're gonna use a Java class called JScrollBar. We will show you how to create a vertical scroll bar and then a horizontal scroll bar. All right, so without delay, let's create our first scroll bar. All right, so as you can see here, I'm importing the Java that swing that JScroll bar here to make sure that I'm able to create a scroll bar. But in terms of the structure of my project, I have the first class, which is the main class containing my main method. And in that class, I'm creating an instance of the frame. And here is my my frame class, which is inheriting the JFrame class. And I have set the attributes of the frame. So in the constructor, I will come and write J scroll bar. I will call this scroll bar. And I will instantiate that by saying new J scroll bar like this. So I have created a scroll bar. If I want to add this to my uh, frame, I will say this that add scroll bar. I need to set the bounds. So scroll bar that set bounds, I'll say 200, 150, 150, 150. All right. So now let's run and see if our scroll bar has been added. Yeah. So now you can see I have the scroll bar added on the frame. I can reduce the width. Yes. Maybe increase the height as well, say 300 here. Yeah, so I have the scroll bar here. So this is how you add a scroll bar to a frame. So now what if we want to add an adjustment listener? Let's say, for example, we want to make sure that if our scroll bar is like at the middle here, we want the label to tell us uh, the position of the scroll bar. Or let's say that, okay, the value of the scroll bar is 50, for example, or the value of the scroll bar is 70 or 25 or something like that. Okay. So in order for us to do that, we need to actually use a class called adjustment listener, because for now, all we have done is to add the scroll bar to our frame. So we will implement the adjustment listener interface. So I will say implement adjustment listener. Oh, I need to write S here. Import the adjustment listener and then add an implemented method. So this will add adjustment value changed and we will come back to this. So what we're gonna do, we will come to our scroll bar here and say scroll bar not add adjustment listener and i will say this so this is going to make reference to the class implementing the adjustment listener okay so that's the class we are finding ourselves in so now i will also need a label so i will say j label label come in the constructor i will instantiate the label say new j label for now i'll give it text of label let me import j label class yeah there's a typo mistake here set bounds so i'll say label that set bounds 100 and 50 100 300 50 like this and let's add this label to the frame so this that add label label now when you run yeah so you can see the label there let me simply say 50 okay so now let's uh work on the adjustment listener so we want to get the value of our scroll bar. So if we place our scroll bar here, we want to return the value, right? If we place it at the middle like this, we want to be able to return a certain value. What can we do? It's simple. We'll use the get value method. So in our adjustment value changed, we will simply say label that set text. And here we will say the scroll bar value is, then we will concatenate scroll bar that get value and then semicolon. So here I'm having a mistake because the scroll bar is defined or declared in the constructor. I need to change that and declare it outside of the constructor so that it's going to be globally accessible in this class particularly. Then now you see no error is showing in my code. And if I run, so now when I move the cursor, you can see that the value is also changing. Okay. So I put it at the top, it's saying zero, 90 and all of that. Let me maybe set the font of the label, new font 20, label that set foreground, color that red, import the color class. Now let me run. Yeah, so that's it. 
I will simply remove the label here so that at default, when I run my program, the label will not show. But as soon as I move my scroll bar, now you can see values changing. All right. So one last thing I want to show you is that you can actually make this particular scroll bar horizontal. Okay. So by default, when you create a scroll bar, it's vertical. What if we want to show it um, horizontally? So what we can do is to come here in the sc J scroll bar constructor and say J scroll bar dot horizontal. And when you run there, you can see the scroll bar is now horizontal. So all you have to do is to fix the height and the width. So now you have something like this. Take it up a little bit. So now when you run, yes, yeah, so you're having your scroll bar and then a text showing. Yeah, so now when you move your scroll bar, you know, the value will still change. But the only thing that has changed here is the orientation of the scroll bar. By default, it was vertical. Now we have passed a parameter to make sure that our scroll bar would appear horizontally. All right, guys, that was it on how you can create a scroll bar in Java Swing and uh, how to add it, how to get the value of the scroll bar. And I hope this video was informative. Please don't forget to like, to share, to comment and ask any question if you have. And subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.